Hello, Josh. Hi. So Hi. I, I, you, you, that little pause worried me for a second. I thought, oh, no, he has gone. Um, um, so where are you now, Josh? I'm with you. I'm in Texas, deep in the heart, deep uh, in Limestone County, uh, south of Dallas, a couple hours. Right, OK. Hour and a half. So back in, in the home state. Um, yeah, yeah, my little village, little town of 300 people. Um, I know. And that seems Working to be... on my truck. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and yeah. uh, those small places of just 300 people, they, they seem to be your go-to places, though, Josh, in many ways. Yeah. Yeah, I try to go, go to them when I can. Yeah. So when I get sick of lots of people. So the last oh. time... The, the last time we spoke, um, it was just after the Royal Festival Hall show last year, um, which was a triumphant return. Um, and you talked then about the possibility that the album, The Texas Jerusalem Crossroads, was going to be coming out again and was going to get uh, remixed and remastered. And that is all done. It's ready to go and it will be out on Friday. So, um, And the mix sounds amazing. Um, has it been as good... Thank you. Uh, has it been as good as you hoped it would be? Yeah, we're super excited about it. We just you know, wanted to get it right when everything where we kind of originally wanted it. And to complicated reasons, we weren't there for the initial mix. So it's, it's just nice to kind of have, have it realized for us. Yeah. I mean, we're, it, we're super excited. And so what happened for the, the remixing this time around? Uh, um, t tell us you know, how, you, how you went about it. Well, we went back to the original studio, the studio uh, where we recorded the thing 15 plus years ago, and um, we got a, a local guy to do it named Matt Pence. He's oh, awesome at what he does, and he's been doing it 20 years solid just every day, you know, so real craftsman, and he's just hitting his stride, and uh, he had seen the band play several times, so he had a real feel for what we were going for, and plus he's a drummer, so that kind of uh, kind of helped, I think, uh, with the initial, just capturing the nuances of of the drums and the interplay between our parts. Mm. And uh, it, so, were you all in the room listening together and saying, well, well, "How about bringing the vocals to the fore here, or this instrument to the fore uh, there?" Uh, uh, yeah, yes, and no. Really, initially, yes, and then he'd, he'd take it back to he has a little studio at his place where he would um, he'd tweak it, and then we'd hear it kind of pass the baton back and forth, or or send notes, and then I had to go off for a tour, so he'd kind of. He'd send us stuff, which is uh, a little more difficult than being in the room, but the bulk of the work was in his hands, and I could just tell him what I needed or wanted, and he'd, he'd facilitate that vision. So it was it was really neat, a real honor to, to revisit it and, and kind of get get to things where we where we wanted it. So mm. yeah, it does sound really exciting and and really Good. fresh, Thank really. You. And and the thing is, Good. though, um, I mean, it sounds like no one else. As as it did the first time, it's you sound like no one else again. You know, there, there aren't any other bands now doing what you're doing, um, and and it 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 gives it a, an extra resonance because of that. I think. Well, I hope so. I, I thought we were pretty unique. We worked really hard on it at the time. Uh, you know, it's interesting. That a lot of the sounds I, I feel have caught up with where mm. we were at back then, um, as post rock was kind of fresh in our years and. Our ears are uh, desensitized now. I mean, the editorial are. Uh, people's ears are desensitized with the Internet and just being accosted by all sorts of uh, audible noise. So I hope it still has resonance, and I, I hope the songwriting really makes it stand out more than more than anything. You know, we, we had a, a lot going on there, just put some muscle into the, into the work prior to going in there. Um, we had really fleshed it out for a couple of years, so it's nice to hear those those nuances. Uh, the the original mix was more had more emphasis. The vocals were pretty pretty hot in it, and kind of put an emphasis on the narrative, which is important as well. But this is nice to capture. Uh, I'll just say interplay. Mm. It's a real a real you know or, organic three piece. So yeah, we're we're excited. Just uh, it's a, it's a real honor and treat to be able to revisit it, and and we're glad that people are excited about it too you know it's it's uh it's really something you spend that much time and care on something and uh and in the, the details it's nice that there's kind of been a resurgence or a, uh 
an anticipation for it, and you know we're we don't take it lightly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, the whole thing. It it is exciting though um, that uh, hopefully it will give you the attention that maybe you should have got the first time round, and it's getting a US release this time. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's what we're happy about. It, it was never uh, it never came out in the states. It was a it was a difficult time that back then for labels. The uh, labels, the uh, you know, internet had just sort of was really getting its its wings, and record labels were on the way down, and uh, things were turning digital. Anywho, it, it never came out in the states. So, in 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 fact, if you wanted to buy, you had to get it as a double disc Im- import which kind of slowed momentum down for mm. yeah for college money on a double disc band that no one had had heard of and and it's a different climate too i think now with uh some of the religious metaphor i was playing with that people aren't as sensitive now to some of that, that stuff they can kind of see it uh beyond any uh I don't know. Yeah. And, what it is. and yet and yet, you know, those those metaphors are, are really important. They're, they're one of the things that uh, is so fascinating about uh, the way that you have written those songs and, and the things that you're saying in them. And and that's why I thought it would be nice to hear uh, waiting to hit there uh, because it, it almost tells a little bit of the story in a way. Um, of of the band and and the vision, um, but a lot of people. I mean, in, in anticipation of talking to you, Josh, on the phone tonight, um, now I'm afraid people have been asking that question about whether there will be any more Lift to Experience shows. Well, we'll see. We're just um, we're taking it uh, day by day as it comes. You know, we did the the show that Guy Guy Garvey had, had uh, put on there at the South Bank Center. For meltdown and we were thrilled to be able to do it just to i mean they had they had some a little money to throw around enough to get three three dudes who live in separate states uh together and practice the songs for a couple take off work and practice and fly us over and all that so you know it wasn't a total loss and, and it was nice to end on a on a good note we kind of just fizzled out originally not not at the the height of our game, so it was it was uh, thrilling for us to revisit this stuff, and we're we're taking it slow right now. We we're just one day at a time. We haven't there's been no real offers, uh, legitimate offers as far as you know a tour or anything. So I definitely don't want to be the one lifting the martial amps this time. That's pretty much my only goal out of it. But yeah. if there if there turns out there's a demand, yeah, we're we're super, we're be thrilled to explore the the idea of it but right now we're just we'll see how it goes yeah yeah no fair enough yeah. and and your solo work One Josh, is, is that still something that you're you're working on yeah every day i mean i write every day usually in just privacy of the closed bedroom and uh it just it takes me a lot of time to let go of stuff but i think i'm getting close i've been toying around with comedy lately trying to put some humor in into into the tunes more, more so than before before it was more subtext but i'm trying to see if i can um mani- manipulate this go around to actually make people laugh intentionally so mm. I've, I've been a lot happier the last couple of years and I'd, I'd love to be able to bring some of that to the table and just make people laugh but we're, we're going to see uh hopefully fingers crossed tro- fingers crossed i'll get something out this this year and, and if that goes okay then just try to start putting out records mm-hmm. I'm at, right now i'm averaging one a record every decade and i i think i should try to up that game but i just had to add some i had to go walk the earth a bit you know and kind of go off radar yeah. but i think i've done so the exploring i need now so lord willing will actually commit some stuff to tape and put it out there i did want to say john it, it's come up a couple times that uh there was people thought that this is a money grab i just want to let it be known that this is only to get the songs right that no one's heard of this band other than a few of you kind folks over in uh in the uk and, and a few across europe if, if we break even we're, we're going to count ourselves really blessed it's it's a uh, it's just a labor of love here and always has been we just wanted it kind of sound the way we wanted and out there available because uh, i mean it hasn't even really been available for for years now so 
that's our that's our goal, man. I'm I'm, I'm thankful and grateful that, uh, just to do this interview and talk with you about it now. So thanks for your enthusiasm, and I'm I'm glad that it it'll be available in America across digital airwaves mm. <laughs> around the world. Yeah, no, so it's neat. It's, it's exciting. And I didn't really plan it with Trump coming in at the same time. I'll be honest; it wasn't intentional. Uh, we just looked out, I guess, with um, political stuff kind of in disarray as it is with the um, apocalyptic things. It's never too late for the end of the world. And so, <laughs> and so we're we're trying to let people know. So we're just we're excited. So thank you, thank you for your enthusiasm, and thanks for playing it. I, I think it's good work. I'm. I'm I was glad to hear uh, with the mixing that it was as good as we remember, and I, I think that's what we're really thrilled by. So yeah, excellent. No, um, it's, yeah, thank it's, you. it's great to have it out once more. I'm really excited to, and really excited about all the different um, deluxe packages uh, that you've put together for it as well. But yeah, uh, we 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 worked really hard on it. Uh, the, you know, the peel sessions were always my favorite. We, we just we'd really hit our stride with the live show. So. One of the uh, one of those is available, and then the original EP, which is this is nice, and then a booklet that comes with all the the lyrics, which um, I pined over quite a bit and kind of lost my mind putting together. So I, I hope uh, I hope people like it as as much as we we do. I'm just excited and again surprised just to even be revisiting it now that that there's a few people that care out there. And you just never know when you, you put that much work into things. People do it all the time, but to have the opportunity that that much detail um, can kind of come back and a spotlight can get get shown on it for a second. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm giddy, giddy about it. Mm, excellent. So thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you, Josh. I'm going to let you go and get back to that truck. Um, and I will. Uh, get it fixed right. 